Good morning, everyone. Today on Cooking for College, we are doing breakfast. Now, in between classes, I only have like 20, 30 minutes, you know, something like that. So you got to do something really fast and really good. So you just take regular Bisquick and just do thing of Bisquick. And it says 14 pancakes is like two cups of Bisquick, a cup of milk, and two eggs. So I just cut that in half to make seven pancakes when it really only comes out to about four. But to do that, you take this, you get your your one cup of Bisquick, your one egg, dump that in there, and then you take your half a cup of milk, and you can just kind of guesstimate on it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on how liquidy you want it, how thick you like your pancakes. Go out like that. All right. You take that. Now, these are, I mean, these are good by themselves, you know, just regular buttermilk pancakes. But if you want to put some, I like to kick them up a little bit. That's why today I'm going to do s'more pancakes. And on s'more pancakes, you take, you mix it up like this, and all you do is just like on a s'more, you have chocolate, you have marshmallow, and you have graham cracker. We don't have any graham cracker, so we're just going to do chocolate and marshmallow. So you take your chocolate chips, you get it nice and mixed up, you know, pretty good consistency. You got your heat on medium, medium high. And you take your chocolate chips and pour them. If you have any flour, this is a good thing to do. You pour them in the flour. Not much flour, just a little bit. You don't have to do this. It just helps. And you toss them all in the flour like that, however many chocolate chips you want. And you toss them all in the flour, just a little bit, just like that. All right? And what the flour does is it keeps them so that all the chocolate doesn't sink to the bottom of the mix, and then you have one extremely chocolatey pancake and a couple not really so chocolatey. So you just get all that in there. Oops. Oh, All right. And you just put them all in there. And once you mix them in the flour, you can take them, get some of the excess flour off, and just put them all in. Put this here. These really do spice it up a little bit. And it's just better than just regular old pancakes. But you don't have to do like this. You can do bananas. We have a bunch of frozen mixed berries. They're like three bucks for blackberries, raspberries, and what's the other one? Blueberries. And you just throw those in there and you make some berry ones. So you just mix the chips in there and some marshmallows. Get your marshmallows. And pour some of those in there. And you just mix them all up. You've already got your already got your pan good and hot. You want to spray it with some cooking spray because pancakes will stick. And also, you want to take your spatula and spray your spatula with some cooking spray, and that'll make so that the pancakes don't get all nasty and matted up on the spatula. It'll keep them coming off smooth and not stick. All right, so you mix it up. You just take them like this and just dump them on just like that. And spread them out because if they're too thick, the inside won't cook and it'll be all doughy when you think they're done and they won't be done. And you just spread them out just like that. And they won't take too long. And a good way to tell that if the pancakes are ready to flip, they'll start bubbling. The like little bubbles will come up all over the dough, right? All right in here. And then once it starts bubbling, then the bottom of it, you know it's good and ready. Because if you flip it too soon, it won't flip and it'll be all nasty and gooey everywhere. So you just take a second, you can get it all bubbly. And, uh, Always do, normally I'll do this with bacon, and I'll just bake the bacon, or I'll do some eggs or something, you know, just drop an egg in there. And it's really, this takes a total, like, y'all just watch me do everything. This takes a total of 10, 15 minutes. It's a quick, easy, great breakfast to do whenever you're pressed for time and you just want a good, hearty meal. All right, these are starting to bubble a little bit. You can start to see these little bubbles that are coming up. Y'all see them? Right there. They're starting to bubble up everywhere. And you see how I got lots of chocolate chips and marshmallows in there. So that'll make it good and s'more. Right. Get under there, flip it over. Just give them a second to cook on the other side. And I'll probably get about four pancakes, and that's plenty. Just four big ones like this, and that'll be plenty for you and someone else. Or if you want to have leftovers and do that, that's great. Go ahead and get everything else ready.
pull out a plate. And what I do is I'll make a couple of these, but only one will fit in the pan at a time. So I go ahead and get the butter. So when I pull it off and it's nice and hot, I just get a big old scoop of butter and throw it right on there. And it'll evenly spread it on itself so you don't have to spend time spreading the butter and doing all that. And then we do just regular syrup. And for those of you who really like it sweet, honey. Honey is great on pancakes. It goes good with syrup and it's just a nice little twist with it.